Looking at some regional stories now, on the second day of the ZANU-PF Congress, the youth wing of the party showed unhappiness with the conduct of Zimbabwe's Vice President Joyce Mujuru. This led to Chairman Simon Moyo calling for restraint and discipline. Mujuru has again come under fire from the party's leaders. President Robert Mugabe Oye. The Speaker of Parliament and Central Committee member is forthright about the unprecedented challenges facing the Liberation Party, its divisions and poor organization. He says ZANU-PF has been its own worst enemy. The Vice President, Joyce Mujuru, is noticeably absent and again is on the receiving end for allegedly leading a coup plot. Thanks to the revelations made by, made by the mother of revelations, <laughs> the First Lady, Amai Dr. Grace Mugabe. A whirlwind was unleashed, which has swept away the conspirators. Then, interruptions by the Youth League members threatening to deal with perceived Mujuru allies. <laughs> and outside, several Mujuru allies were run off the venue. We cannot, in front of His Excellency the President, in front of the First Lady, Dr. Grace Mugabe, exhibit such conduct. Turning to economic issues, the country is $8.3 billion in debt and hamstrung by slow economic growth. The forecast growth rate had to be halved from the initial 6.1% target as manufacturers failed to compete with imports. Any people who want to relate to us will decide if sanctions were lifted and the chief executive of the state is remaining under sanctions. You can understand the mixed signals. They will not deal with us. The Congress is expected to retreat behind closed-door sessions to deliberate on the party reports. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.